Hi everyone, meteorologist Brian Bennett. Wanted to give you a quick status update on what's going on with red tide off the coast of southwest Florida and how things have changed over the past week. Keep in mind that Tropical Storm Gordon moved right over this big area of red tide. What we can expect basically over the next week and what the conditions are like at the beaches closest to you. All right, so first of all, here's a satellite image and this was actually taken right before the tropical storm moved in and if you watched my previous video you, you probably remember me showing you this right before the tropical storm moved in and it had some pretty defined high concentration areas which I'm outlining you may or may not be able to see the darker brown color here but this is basically where the higher concentrations of Carinia brevis were located previous to the storm. It looks like the storm did pretty much what I expected that it would do with the five to seven foot waves that helped to disperse a good deal of the red tide. Uh, and again, let me, in case you're not uh, real good with geography, let me just draw in here real quick. This is Clearwater Beach. This is St. Pete Beach. We have downtown Tampa over here and then Bradenton, Sarasota area heading down to Boca Grande area. All right. And again, I apologize. This satellite here isn't really the greatest quality after the storm. Uh, that's primarily because we've had a good deal of cloud cover, which has really prevented us from being able to see what's going down down at the Gulf of Mexico. But nonetheless, uh, I was able to get a, a good enough glimpse here to see what has changed since Gordon moved through. This is before the storm, some defined areas of very high concentration of red tide. After the storm, it seems like it has dispersed it and kind of mixed it up quite a bit. So we still do have a few spotty locations of high concentration, but for the most part, we're not seeing that stark cutoff that goes into the really high concentration. Uh, it does look like it did drag it to the north-northwest just a little bit, but that doesn't seem to be having any uh, negative effects so far. So for the most part, I would say the storm was actually a positive thing for red tide. All right, so here's a look at the Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission's latest graphic showing all the samples that they took over the last couple of days since the tropical storm came through. And you can see at or just offshore of Pinellas County, we're looking at some of the orange and yellow, which represents low to medium concentration. So no areas, areas of high concentration were sampled anywhere near Pinellas County, which is great news. And heading up into Tampa Bay, we're looking at the white dots, which represents very low concentration. So right now, Hillsborough coastal areas or areas along the shore and areas along Pinellas County are actually looking pretty good right now. Manatee County, you have a few spots that are in the medium range. Heading down to Sarasota, generally in the medium range as well, although the glaring red dot there representing a sample that found high concentration of Crenia brevis and Charlotte and Lee County, Sanibel Island, you're looking at quite a few areas that are in the high range. You've been in ground zero now for about 10 months and it seems that this area is still fairly highly concentrated with Crenia brevis. Head down to Collier County and looking pretty good with only very low concentrations or even background concentrations. I mentioned Crenia brevis, that's one of it, but we're also seeing uh, the marine cyanobacteria being uh, taken in some of these samples as well. So Grinia brevis isn't the only harmful algae that we're seeing. All right, looking at the upper water column, what do we expect to happen over the next 24 hours or so? Well, we'll have an easterly wind on Saturday, and that's going to take some of the, uh, the low to medium blooms that are just offshore or right along the shore of Pinellas County and help drag them to the west northwest a little bit that's off Pinellas County same thing goes for parts of Manatee and Sarasota County as well heading farther south down to parts of Sanibel and over towards Fort Myers again same thing goes west to northwest movement over the next 24 hours so not really a whole lot to report there not really a whole lot to report as far as fish kill goes either and one reason could be we're not seeing a ton of fish kill would be one, the wind's been blowing from the east to the west, so it's not bringing dead fish ashore. Secondly, we haven't seen an area overtaken by high concentration of harmful algae and the associated neurotoxins like we did a couple of weeks ago in Sarasota, where suddenly 
that area was overtaken by the higher concentration and resulted in some pretty rapid fish kill. We haven't seen that type of rapid overtaking of high concentration over the past couple of weeks. So the fish kill uh, hasn't really been too bad over the, uh, over the past week or two. All right, so what's going on with the currents and what do we expect the ocean currents to be doing? Because that really plays a big role in a couple of things. First of all, if you have the currents going from west to east associated with a westerly wind, then that's going to do a couple of things. That's going to bring a few dead fish ashore. Uh, from a respiratory standpoint, when you have a westerly wind or a westerly current, then you're going to generally have bigger waves. Bigger waves means that the toxins associated with crinia brevis, uh, their thin little shell is going to break open and allow those to be airborne. And that could give folks uh, within a mile or so of area beaches some respiratory problems. So the easterly wind has actually been doing us a favor for the past couple of weeks. So what do we expect to happen over the next couple of days? So this is the European computer model here showing ocean currents. And as we move into Saturday, we're going to have winds blowing generally out of the southeast. And same thing with the currents too. The ocean currents will be going from the southeast to the northwest. So really not too bad on Saturday from a respiratory standpoint or any additional fish kill. So Saturday we're doing okay. Moving into Sunday, we're going to have the wind's changing direction a little bit. We're looking at a bit of a pattern change. So we're going to see ocean currents from the southwest to the northeast. That's not really ideal because that's going to drag some of the higher concentrations uh, that are farther south to some of the more northern communities. And also with a west to east wind, that means that we're going to see a little bit larger surf, which could increase the respiratory problems just a little bit on Sunday. So going to the beach, uh, Saturday actually looks like it'll be the better day. On Monday, we'll have ocean currents from the south to the north. Heading into Tuesday, ocean currents from the east to the west. And then on Wednesday, east to west again. Heading into Thursday, we'll have ocean currents from the north to the south. And that's really, uh, that's a perfect scenario right there because that's going to help to restrict the northerly movement of any additional red tide uh, and also help the respiratory problem along area beaches because the waves won't really be that large. In case you're wondering, this big red blob offshore, that's actually Hurricane Florence. And I did an entirely other video on Hurricane Florence and the other tropical systems. In case you're interested, I did post that on Facebook uh, earlier on, uh, on Friday evening. All right, so that's what we expect as far as the ocean currents go. What about beaches that are near you, by you and how have they improved or or gotten worse. So I went ahead and looked at all the beach conditions and these are actually very updated. These conditions were sampled on Friday. So we're looking at uh, clear water, no respiratory problems, and no dead fish for Caldese Island. And that's why I've painted it in the green here. Same thing goes for actually all of the Pinellas County beaches. We're in pretty good shape. So if you want to head out to Pinellas County beaches, beaches this weekend, you're fine. Uh, the water conditions are actually not too bad. Maybe some low, maybe medium concentration of crinia brevis or the marine cyanobacteria, but not really enough to cause any problems in Pinellas County. Heading down to Manatee Beach, uh, did paint it in kind of the orangish color here because we are reporting slight respiratory problems. But even with that, take a look at this. This column here shows the improved conditions. Uh, so a lot of beaches have actually improved over the last week or so since I last reported. So a little bit of good news there. We're seeing a slight improvement. Coquina Beach looking okay. Lido Key, we're looking at some dark water. So that's why I've painted it in the brownish color here because while we're not reporting any respiratory or fish kill, uh, we are looking at some dark water. So don't know that you'd want to be swimming in that. Uh, Siesta Key. Uh, you know what, Siesta Key should actually, oh, we got the respiratory problem. That's why I painted that in the kind of the orangish color here. Let me change that real quick. So yeah, we got a little bit of a respiratory problem that Siesta Key reported on Friday. Uh, Venice, we have a few dead fish. Uh, Man Minnesota Beach and Boca Grande, the water is dark. Captiva and Sanibel, uh, we're reporting slight respiratory problems. And actually Fort Myers Beach, uh, Marco Island, Barefoot Beach, uh, not reporting any major problems at this time. Uh, so we are looking at some improvements. 
let's hope these improvements continue, but uh, that's kind of the bottom line what's going on right now. I would say the tropical storm had a net positive effect on the red out red tide bloom and let's hope we continue continue to see more positive news all right guys have a great and safe weekend if you have any questions or comments feel free to let me know all right take care